Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well today. So picking up from the last session, let's go back in here and constrain all this. So I'm going to edit the master sketch. I need to constrain these points we put in here. I'm going to dimension from this point to this point. And from this point to this point. And finish that sketch. I'm going to go in this back sketch and edit that. And we need to put that center line back in. So I'm going to turn on the master sketch and project the center line. And then I'm going to dimension from this point to the center line. And from this point to the center line. And finish that sketch. So I was going to work on the body, but I think I'm just going to continue on and get this whole neck and everything finished and maybe head out to the CNC machine and start cutting something. We'll see how it goes here. Okay, I'm going to go down here to the neck construction plane and right click and create a sketch. And I'm going to turn on my master and then project the nut line and the center line and click OK on that and then we can turn off this master. Now I want to create a line back here at the end somewhere about three inch or three inches. And I will click on the line and constrain it midpoint to here. And then I want to get rid of that constraint. And then click on the line, create rectangular pattern and just pull that back in this direction about three inches or so and change this number right here to 24 enter that and then again let's get rid of this rectangular pattern constraint now we just have 24 movable lines I'm going to minimize my Fusion 360 to have some room over here. Go into my MK1 folder and open up my 25.5 and park that over here. Now I want to add these fret positions. So I'm going to use a dimension tool and then click on a line whoops dimension tool click on a line click on the nut and go up here click once and then add the dimension hit enter and just do all of these Okay, I'm going to save it right here. I'm going to call this sketch the fret positions. And to lock all this down, I'm just going to select everything and 
fix, unfix, finish that sketch. And actually that's all I have time for this morning. I've got some other stuff going on. Just want to give you some stuff to work on. Uh, we'll go ahead and project these first. Let's head down here back to this um, FB layout we, we originally put in here and right click and create a sketch here and we'll call this the fret slots and turn your fretboard body back on and go up here to create and down to project include and project to surface faces select the top of the fretboard and then select curves and if you drag from right to left over all these lines select OK and finish that sketch now you'll see if you turn off the fret position sketch we have now created some lines that we can use to tool path the fret slots across the neck uh, across the fretboard rather so anyway I've got to get out of here this morning got things to do Appreciate you guys, and God bless you. Have a good one. Don't forget to save.